this workshop on planting milkweed seeds. We're providing this uh, the Euclid Environmental Advisory Council as part of our project for Heart of Euclid. Uh, this summer we planted the milkweed seed garden that you see behind me and uh, we got a lot of inquiries so we thought we would show you how to properly sow milkweed seeds so that you'll have the same beautiful success that we had. We had butterflies visit, we had caterpillars, and we had it all. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to enjoy the same. Uh, milkweeds need stratification or cold treatment. And there's several, that's why they're best planted in the fall. And there's several ways that you can sow your seeds. You can spread them on the ground uh, in the fall and let them let nature take its course. You can put them in bags in the refrigerator, typically with some wet paper towels, and leave them for weeks or months until you're ready to plant them in the spring. Or you can do the technique that I'm going to show you, which is to sow the seeds in a plastic jug and be able to leave those jugs out on your deck or your, or your patio and let the seeds uh, stratify for the winter. So these are the materials that you need to do this. You need a plastic jug. I typically use kitty litter jugs, uh, as long as they're clear or semi-clear. Um, gallon milk cartons work also. You need soil, you need seeds, and you need tape to tape the jugs back together again, and you need marking equipment. So I've already cut one in half. I just cut it cleanly and I've punched holes in the bottom, drainage holes and air holes in the sides. So I'm ready to plant with this now. So I've got my soil. I've already wet it. It should be about as wet as it would be if you were planting anything in potting soil. And I'm going to put the soil in my jug between two and four inches, depending on the size of your jug, uh, so that there's enough soil in there for the plants to get uh, roots growing. So that's what I've done. I've put the soil in. Now I'm going to sow the seeds. Now we will have seeds in packets like this. These are from a, an organization called uh, Save the Monarchs. Uh, foundation and we will be making these seeds available to you so this is the seeds that I'm going to use and typically in this size of a jug I probably need two packs but here's what the seeds look like and I'm going to put them on the surface of the of the, of the soil most wildflowers, when you plant them, uh, just like nature, they throw their seeds on the ground. They don't want to be buried. I'm going to pat them into the wet soil a little bit. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to tape it back together. So I'm using duct tape or something similar to that. I'm going to tape this shut. And then I'm going to mark the jug. I usually just put a number on here because a longer uh, name or label is liable to weather off. So I'm going to call this 2020 20, number two. And then I typically keep a sheet like this where I put the number and what I've planted in there so that I can keep tracking them. Another thing that you can do is put like a popsicle stick or something with a label inside as well so it won't get worried weather so that's what I do and then I put this out on my deck or my patio and I leave it all winter so here I have these two I would stack them out there and just leave them early in the spring in uh, March or April you can start looking in and seeing and you'll start to see seedlings they aren't going to germinate pretty much until that time. That's the natural time. You can keep them wet. Make sure you might check them through the winter from time to time. Open the lid, check and keep them damp. And then in the spring, when you start to see your seedlings and they seem to be fairly well established and the temperature outside is starting to warm up, 
uh, you take the tape off, take them apart, let them grow a little longer in that jug to harden. You would harden them just like you would any uh, other plants that you're planting, like your tomato plants. And then you can plant those seedlings directly in your garden, or you can put them in pots and let them get a little bit more size. So that's pretty much how we did all of the plants for this milkweed garden. And as you can see, they got quite big. We have handouts, uh, two handouts available. They're available from links on the Euclid Township website. We have one that shows you this, this project and how to do it. And also some reference material about milkweeds, monarchs, and pollinator gardens. And then we have a handout specifically to our milkweed garden here. So we will be making seeds available. Check on the website or listen for updates and you'll be able to have seeds and save your jugs and plant your milkweed garden.